if you're this far in the video, you probably want to know the result. Just hang in there. <laughs> Welcome to Cool Club's headquarters. I'm here with Mark Timms. We are going to look into these AI putters. We just have to know how good they really are. Yeah, we've heard a lot about them. Obviously, getting close to the hole is huge. I mean, an inch in a putt is a big deal. Uh, we kind of played around with these outdoors and did a little testing as well, but uh, we're going to see if it really does what they say it does. Well, we are the science experts. We have got our own putting lab indoors, perfect surface. We've got a putting robot, uh, a la Mark Timms right. special. So we're trying to get all the variables out, right? So we're actually holding the thing back. We're actually holding to make sure it's not vibrating at all when we let go. It's just free flowing. We're using an electric magnet to release it. So the release is exactly the same each time. Uh, we've got a little jig on top to mark so we can go, you know, center, go toe and heel. Uh, we're gonna probably do a really more in-depth test when we build a bigger lab, but definitely want to see, you know, as you miss hit off the center and the toe and the heel, uh, you know, how consistent is the distance, which is pretty important in putting. So Callaway's whole story is they finally got to use the AI robot on putting rather than drivers and irons. Right. This is on some, some short game stuff, arguably the most important section of the game. Yeah, by far, where inches matter, right? Right. So if this works, it's gonna make some huge differences to your pros, but also to the average golfer who miss hits the par more often, hopefully they're gonna see some great results and hopefully we're able to demonstrate it here today. Um, we've got a couple of guys here that are gonna watch it, uh, Justin, <laughs> Do you think this is going to work? We're going to find out. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really safe bet. <laughs> On the fence, Matt. I'm very curious. Uh, I'm very optimistic, though. Okay. Mark? I'm optimistic we'll see something. I, mean, I kind of looked at the machine a little bit, which we saw it outdoors and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to see something. I'm not sure how much we're going to see indoors. But, right. But I believe in Callaway. I believe the technology is <laughs> yes. there. So, uh, let's get into it. All right. This is a pretty tough test to actually demonstrate, so we're going to make it as simple as possible. Essentially, the nondescript blade putter, we are going to hit that center heel and toe, half inch off center either side. We're going to then do it with the AI milled version. There's two versions, one titanium milled, the other white hot. They're both blade putters, so it should be similar. We're going to set them up dead center, um, on the ground, lie angle, all that stuff's been figured out. You don't have to worry about it. It's gonna be an apples for apples test. We're gonna do the simplest thing. We're gonna measure the averages from the center hits, toe hits and heel hits, and see how big it is front to back difference. We're just talking about distance here, how fast the ball came off the face. We're gonna compare the two at the end. The better putter will have a shorter distance from the average of the center hit to the average of the off center hit. The worst putter will have a bigger difference. Let's hope we see something. So you got me here sitting on the floor making sure that it's exactly the same strike each time. So I got this little jig we 3D printed, and that shows us, you know, obviously from the center here, it's got marks on it for half inch toe and heel. So we set this up in the center, obviously, and see that this one's in the center. And then we'll move it right and left to get exactly right. The other things we have to keep in as variables is as we take this back, we've got an electric magnet out here. So we're not actually just letting go at differently stents, and we just actually just hit this button here and it releases the putter. The other variable we're kind of eliminated is this actually wobbles quite a bit, right? So this whole floor is moving, so we actually make sure we steady this thing to make sure it's dead still before we hit the putter. So we try to take all the variables out. There's a lot of variables of putter, but we're trying to measure inches. But in putting, inches are important. This is the center hit on the nondescript blade putter. All right. All right. Let's get the average of those. I'm just going to wash the part face now. Thank you. All right, Matt. 197. 202 and a half. 202 and three quarters. That much difference. Okay, so the average for the center hit was 200.75 inches from the putter. Let's take a look at the toe hits. Okay, toe hits 190 and a half, 193 and a half, 193 and a half. Okay, final test for the nondescript blade putter, heel strikes. That's all pretty consistent. 
It's quite a bit shorter, isn't it? How about that? All right, heel hits 190 and a quarter, 192, 193 and a half. So to try and make this easier, I'm trying to give you a visual representation of, of what just happened there as an average. So if you take a look at this first ball here, this is the average center hit at 200.75 inches. We've got the average toe hit at 192.5, and then we've got the average heel hit at 191.91. So that basically is an 8.8 .8 inch difference from the center struck shot to the worst hit. Now, with this AI putter, well, we're hoping right. that gap cuts at least in half. Maybe. So I think Mark's all set up. Ready to go. He's ready to go. It's AI time. <laughs> Please. So while Mark's hitting here, one thing we other, other thing we did notice is that the AI face is actually a little hotter off the face than the standard blade part. Just something interesting. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty good grouping. Uh, two hundred and a quarter, two hundred and a quarter, and two o two point five. Proofs to put in. We're just about to hit the toe strikes with the AI part. Ready to roll. That looked pretty good. Pretty close? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is going to average out almost the same. I didn't say that. So this is the toe hits, and obviously I've been measuring them as I go. You're not going to get to see this bit, sorry. Third and final <clears throat> test for the AI part of the heel strike. I think it's pretty close. Oh, it's gone as far as the up. Oh, I won't say it. I won't. I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely works well on the heels, what we're seeing. <laughs> if you're this far in the video, you probably want to know the result. Just hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to kind of reveal the results, but it's, it goes a little deeper than what this actually is right now. So. The center hit average of the AI putter was 201 inches. The toe hit, 199.66. The heel hit, 198.58. We tried to do a visual representation on the, uh, on the ruler here, but it got a little tight. And if this doesn't tell you the answer, then nothing will. <laughs> there is 2.42 inches of difference between the center shot and the worst off center shot. And uh, Matt, Correct me because I think I misspoke earlier. We had 8.84? 8.84. 8 8.84 inches. So we're over six inches better off. Over 16 feet of putt. Average tour length is 32, so. We're going to double this. All of a sudden, you've, you've missed your putt by five inches with one and 16 inches with another. Yeah. So between a gimme and not a gimme, right? The science going is in or not going in. It, it, we've just demonstrated on a 16 foot green with a pretty decent scientific test. We may go harder. We've got, Mark's got some ideas yeah. with Dr. Mace. We're going to do some, some proper statistics. We're going to do some statistical data and we'll crunch those numbers and we'll get you some real, real stuff. But this is pretty compelling. Uh, what part do you think you're going to play? AI. <laughs> I'm in. AI. Same yeah, I gotta figure out how to make a long version, but yeah, I don't see any reason not to. You got two problems. You yeah. gotta figure out how to get a long version, maybe find some more place in the store to start stocking AI patterns, because we're <laughs> gonna sell a lot of these things.